BatSpeed.com is proud to introduce the Perfect Connection, an easy-to-use yet highly effective tool for teaching baseball and softball players how to develop the perfect rotational swing. The two players we are viewing exhibit very common problems we see in a high percentage of hitters from youth programs to college ball. Before practicing with the Perfect Connector, their back elbow is diving inward, causing their back elbow to lead the hands, the shoulder is dropping, the elbows become close together near contact, and this causes the arms to become disconnected from rotation, leaving the batters with a weak arm swing. The Perfect Connection instantly teaches players how to correct these flaws. In the video on the right, the player is now using the Perfect Connection. As you can see, the arms are in perfect alignment with the shoulders. The back elbow is no longer diving inward. The lead arm is pulling the bat around while the back arm is in the powerful L position at contact. You'll also notice that the batter has his head upright so his eyes can continuously follow the ball. We are excited to introduce you to the Perfect Connection. And now your host, Jack Mankin. Hi, I'm Jack Mankin and I'd like to introduce you to Batspeed's new rotational training aid the perfect connection for baseball and softball. This perfect connection is a very popular golf training aid. Now it is designed so that when you put it on, uh, it ensures the connection between the arms and the rotation of the body. Now staying connected to that rotation is what produces that real fluid and powerful swing. Uh, we found that with a few modifications, the perfect connection could also be a great training tool in helping baseball and softball hitters uh, perfect their mechanics. Uh, we added the modifications you can see here because in the baseball swing, I uh, note that the elbows are much wider apart during rotation than it is in the golf swing. And therefore, we lengthen out the adjustment bar here. And then we also added the padding here for more comfort during the swing. And we also put a strap around the lead arm. Uh, the connector fits between the elbows. Uh, this reinforces two very important principles found in all high-level mechanics. The first principle is that during rotation, the distance between the elbows remain constant. Now that means, in other words, that the acceleration of both forearms are equal throughout the swing. Justin played for the Astro organization and he also helped us in developing our swing analysis DVD. Uh, during this filming, uh, Justin hit a good number of balls out of the park. On this particular swing, it went about 450 feet. So let's cycle Justin forward here and I'll show you what I mean. In other words, here now he's initiating the swing and notice the distance between the elbows. That distance should remain the same all the way around here now to contact. All right. And back then back up here again, notice that when the elbows accelerate the same, when you get to the turn here, the hands are leading the back elbow. Now if the batter has the back elbow accelerating at a faster rate than the lead elbow, at this point we'll see the, the back elbow ahead of the hands. The second important principle we find in all high-level mechanics is that the angle between the forearms remains constant throughout the swing, about 90 degrees. A video analysis shows that batters that rotate their forearms as a constant triangle produces greater bat speed and a cleaner swing plane. So let's take Justin forward here and look at the angle between his forearms. All right. They're right here, they're about 90, and notice that 90 degrees, or rotating the triangle, remains constant all the way around here to contact. And also notice that as the bat becomes perpendicular to the ball, or hitting it straight away, that back elbow is still well back at the side. I'd also like to point out that staying connected to rotation means that the large muscles of the lower body are staying engaged all the way from initiation uh, through contact. Uh, we've just been discussing some of the key principles we find in high-level mechanics. But what I often see in too many of my students is that they're uh, top-hand dominant. Now, by top-hand dominant, I mean they rely too much on the back side, the pull of the back arm, to accelerate the bat. And in doing so, what we see, instead of rotating the forearms equal, as you see in high-level mechanics, the pull on the back arm causes the back elbow then to sweep underneath and in toward uh, the lead elbow. In other words, the elbows are not accelerating at the same rate. The back elbow is actually catching up to the advancement of the lead elbow. 
Uh, what we often see when the back elbow outruns the lead elbow, uh, when they get to the turn, we'll actually see the elbow ahead of the hands. And from that point on, uh, what we'll see then is just the extension of the arms then to accelerate the bat. Now in high level mechanics, as we showed, the acceleration of the elbows are equal and therefore they come around in a much more powerful position like this. This means that the swing is being driven by the major muscles of the lower body all the way up to accelerate the bat. Uh, we used this young hitter swing earlier in the video and I'm sure you've seen similar mechanics in many other batters. I'm going to use this side beside of him again to point out an important function of the connector. The connector is designed to provide balance between the batter's pull of his lead side to the drive of his back side. Uh, now in the swing on the left, he relies too heavily on his back arm to accelerate the bat. And this causes now the back elbow to outrun the advancement of the lead elbow. To help correct this, we added a strap at the lead arm. Uh, it is the rotation of the lead side against that strap that produces a balanced swing. Uh, note that with the connector, the pulling of his lead side pulls his hands ahead of the lead elbow at the turn, and approaching contact, it pulls the forearm around to the correct contact position. Uh, this is a frontal view of one of my students when we first taped his swing. As I cycle him forward here, uh, notice how, once again, how that back elbow from right here on, notice how it starts sweeping underneath and, and, and in toward the belly button. Notice as he approaches contact here, uh, once again, uh, the elbows become real close together. In other words, the forearms, once again, are getting almost parallel. And also notice uh, the position of the head as he makes contact. Uh, here the batter is practicing with the connector. As I cycling forward here, uh, notice how he maintains the triangle, the 90 degrees between the forearms uh, during the swing. This means both elbows, once again, are accelerating at the same rate. And as he comes around here to, to uh, contact, notice how much more of a powerful position he is uh, to drive the ball. Uh, on the left is a clip a batter sent to me for analysis when he was 12 years old. As we cycle him forward here, I think uh, you can see most of the common problems we've been discussing, how the back forearm is uh, outrunning the lead uh, of forearm, and therefore uh, they get closer together, almost parallel here at contact. And uh, uh, this is a fairly weak position uh, uh, now to make contact, as I explained before. Now over on the right, this is a, this is a clip uh, we took when he first showed up here for practice when he was 13. And uh, although there's been some improvement since then, you can still see, though, that uh, at the turn, the, the back elbow is still leading the lead elbow. And uh, as he comes on around here to contact, you can see that it's swung underneath to the point where the, the forearms are almost lining up. Uh, this is a clip of the batter after he had been working with the connector for a while. As a cycling forward here, I think you can see a much, much better form. Notice here at the, at the lag position, his, his hands are well ahead of his back elbow. Uh, he's maintaining the angle between the forearms here all the way now to contact. Uh, I think that's much better form than he showed. I'll just put this on, on play and let you take a look at it for a second in slow motion. I've been using the connector on my students now, and I can say that I find it a very effective tool in helping my students correct their inefficiencies and develop those mechanics we see in high-level swings.